Bezos uh, and Amazon um, had started uh, something called the Climate Pledge, which is a pledge to dramatically reduce carbon emissions from their company. And they've gotten other Fortune 500 companies to join them. Um, you know, and, and Amazon also has a lot of things that they can be taken to task on climate wise. So I'm not here to sure. like sing yeah. hosannas on Amazon, but I give them credit for the attempt. And I, I will let the people who are the watchdogs on this and the nonprofits to say, is Amazon really doing what they say? And is what they say enough? All of that. Putting that on the side. So they started the climate pledge. Uh, next, next domino to fall around the same time was the NHL decides to expand into Seattle with a new team called the Kraken. And uh, the arena was being renovated. It was the old key center arena, key, key arena, where the Seattle Supersonics of the NBA played until they moved to Oklahoma City. And this renovation went to the, you know, green, every green T dotted, Every green T crossed, every green I dotted. And Amazon you know, was involved and they bought the naming rights of the arena. And they decided to name it Climate Pledge Arena. And they told Oakview Group, who was developing the arena, that you need to go even, you know, to use a spinal tap reference, you need to go to 11 uh, on, a, on a one to 10 scale. And Tim Lewicki, who is one of the partners, of Oakview Group, he's, and I've met him, and uh, on Zoom, I should say, I haven't met him in person, but he is someone that has the Pied Piper ability. Like, you know, I'm like a journalist and I'm writing the story and I'm like, oh, you know, he's just another guy I'm interviewing. About three minutes in, I'm like, okay, what do you need me to do? And, <laughs> That's what I we mean, need, people like that. He's, in he's other so, so, um, it's now, his vision. I mean, is he? It's it's basically him, the uh, Kraken, which is the team. They're all aligned, and Bezos, and they're all pushing each other, is what I understand. The Kraken, the uh, code of climate silence. <laughs> Kraken is the and, and and they are they're very you know they're in their first season right now. The arena opened this past October, and you know and. There's a lot of buzz about it. And the Kraken are cool, even though, you know, as an expansion team, they're not doing great. I'm going to start rooting advice. for them, the Krakens, who knew? So we can yes. get exposure. The better they do, the more people That's, will hear about them. And everybody yeah. is, so, and then they have, um, so Oakview Group also developed the, the New York Islanders, uh, also NHL, their new arena, UBS Arena, which is out on, um, at Belmont Park on the Queens Nassau border. And that is gonna be carbon. They, they're saying carbon neutral on Climate Pledge Arena from day one, which I think there's a little semantic stuff going there because I don't think you can be carbon neutral before you open, like you have to have a year of data, but whatever, they're doing That's it good. right. Yep, they're, they're making it a priority. That's and right. And then, aspirational. <laughs> and then UBS is gonna be the same. It might take a little longer. They are opening an arena, a minor league hockey arena um, in Palm, Palm Springs area of California. That's also going to be this way. So they are really uh, driving a lot, of, a lot of movement in this area, Oakview Group. And, uh, and then the Kraken themselves, aside from the arena, they're, they've made a big commitment in Seattle area to climate justice. And they're... Um, and I wrote a story about what they're doing in one neighborhood where it's, you know, the, it's near the airport, it's near highways, it's near power plant. There's a lot of uh, pollution related health problems. And then there are climate issues and, and it's a mar two more, it's marginalized people who live there and they're trying to make inroads, both in terms of getting access to sport and to cleaning up the area. Yeah, um, so that's what the, so the Kraken are doing that on a community community relations area. So I wanted to mention that. And let's talk a little bit about what goes on inside the stadium, the kind of food that is sold, the um, you know containers that the drinks are put in, um, waste, you know, recycling bins, maybe maybe even compost bins some places. Mm 